Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So today we are flying out the Tornado GR1 using the PGMs and some other weaponry on it doing casting ground RB to test it out, if it's actually worth it to actually use the PGMs. So at these first battles you will see uh, me getting used to the PGMs as well, it isn't a much, a, a, an easy... Um, Thing to actually use to be honest it's quite weird sometimes not that it's not easy it's pretty easy to use it but being a tv guided weaponry it's always a little bit less reliable than a laser guided one uh, although the laser guided one you need to get closer to the target normally so it's kind of like it's, it's fire and forget which is a problem as you see here i locked it on two tanks and both of the PGM 2000s didn't do anything. They just didn't make any damage, which was... I mean, it's the 2000. Like, come on. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I guess it happens, right? Uh, but other than that, other than the unreliability of it, it is a pretty interesting missile. Uh, a, I mean, it says that it can have... 50 kilometers of lock range but to be honest to be honest apart like above 10 kilometers 12 13 kilometers i wouldn't advise you guys to try to lock it for such a long range just because it's i don't know man it just kind of self explodes sometimes in the air it really is kind of a bad situation there and i don't know what happens it's kind of sad to be honest because it is supposed it's supposed to be kind of like a almost a cruise missile even and it's not that exactly so as you see right there this is a good launch and he got the target right direct hit so from up close it's a little bit easier to make sure that the missile is actually locking it um, maybe I need more time to get, actually get used to it but it is indeed one of the best TV guided weaponries that we have just because of its size and the actual range that it has. It's a pretty good range. Even if you kind of need to be careful with TV lock, uh, the TV lock is a, uh, an alright range, right? As you see right here, for example, like 7 kilometers more or less. Uh, I fired um, on a, a MBT that was basically just driving around near that light tank. Uh, a friendly light tank right right there and it was not a very like long range shot but as you're going to see where is the bomb and yes i blew it up the Deloitte leopard so it's it feels like a kh 29t but it has less energy for it and it has more he power that's pretty much what i i can like relate to other than that, it doesn't like feel much better. To be honest, I really enjoy using the laser guided stuff much more than this. But I don't know, it has its place. Especially destroying AA systems, I think. For example, the loadout that I would normally use in the in the tornado would be this. Two or one PGMs for killing AA systems. And then you can actually grab some laser guided bombs to actually destroy some you know normal tanks. So as you see, a kind of far away shot, not really, but the good part is that I can just go cold here and being a fire and forget weapon, you can just ignore it, you know, that's the good part about attacking uh, AA systems with that. So there was an AA system that was trying to lock me up and doing some weird stuff there. As you see, he was like, probably just like, I don't know what he was doing, but as you see, I got him. I think he was locking me, but there was uh, so many tanks like close to him that I don't know what is happening. Uh, what was happening there? Uh, so yeah, for this, it's a very very good addition, and together with the thermos um, that this aircraft has, it is pretty usable and pretty fun to actually use. Normally, to be honest, as I said, the GBUs I think are more effective, and you will see why. My strategy here, of course, you can do that with the PGMs. But one smoke and the PGM will just completely self-destroy sometimes. Or if it loses lock or do something weird about it, it will just self-explode. 
And the laser guided bomb, it doesn't do that. So, for example, here would be a strategy that I normally use with the laser guided stuff with the tornado. And I think it's just a little bit more effective. Uh, I just use the thermals to actually find people here. I fly to at least like six, 7,000 meters, use the CCRP to drop the weapons, and then I just completely remain there. As you saw there, I saw an AA system, and normally, normally, the AA systems won't be able to actually detect you or even shoot you down. Uh, sometimes, yes, but you are flying so high that the guy is probably not going to even know that you're there, but if, even if he does, like, you can just burn the engine up and, you know, just get out of there. And it's you are so high up that the missile will not have the energy for it. So I think it's just more effective, as you see. The bombs are... The bomb bar is getting closer. And then, yes, you know, puns here down. One of the most, I mean, the most dangerous AA system in the game. Destroyed by a laser-guided bomb, right? So I just think it's... A little bit better to use these laser guided stuff first because it's semi-active if you will you know you can change the target you can actually choose more carefully the target that you want to actually destroy uh, you can help the missile or the bomb uh, mid course you know and also um, it doesn't self explode and I mean it's just a very very good option I think it's just more useful than the PGM even though the PGM is very fun. As I said, in a normal battle, um, you would use, I would use two PGMs and then two, uh, you know, GBUs with this. Um, another thing that the GBU has that it's a very good option is the fact that it can actually um, be cheaper than the PGMs being a laser guided ammunition. So that's that as well. You can just basically kill one tank and maybe capture one thing or just kill two tanks and basically you can spawn with the laser guided stuff. And if you use it correctly, the tornado can be a very deadly weapon on this. So as you see, I lost the, the, the guidance there for some reason. It just went for the for the aircraft, a friendly aircraft that was flying around. There was a MiG-23 that was just following me there, not firing missiles or anything like that. He was trying to snipe me with the cannon, which was quite odd. But I still managed to just maintain a good position here with the... Um, with the, the bomb, right? And then the, the... I don't know. Did you see that? Like the... It kind of desynced a little bit because it kind of fired away or something like that happened. And it made it so that I, that I missed the bomb, which was quite sad. I should have just, like, remained with the lock there. I was trying to get the MBT and not the BMP there. So quite a, kind of my mistake. It was pretty much my mistake. And then we had to dogfight a little bit with these MiG-23, which I have no idea what he was doing. Like, seriously, this is how not to attack a tornado. It was really weird. He was just trying to snipe before, like really, really far away. And then he lost all his ammo, you know. And then the missiles that he was firing probably are three S's in the wrong time and just completely missed. And I don't know what, what was that, but yeah. Anyway. As you see, flying kind of low even here, but it's, I don't know, man, it feels a little bit better. You can actually drop it correctly. You see there an AA system, I should have just went it for it, and you will notice why in a bit. But, yeah, another target. Another one destroyed, TADU, pretty good. And then I try to get speed again. I don't know, I just feel more comfortable using the GBUs than the PGMs. But the GBUs are, uh, the, the PGMs are very, very usable. It's just to show that as long as you have the, um, the correct play style, you can kill a lot of these things. Here I was trying to get the, um, the AA system. So I just dropped the bomb over there. I locked the punts here. And just wait it. And yeah, I got the BMP2, which was the weirdest thing ever. But still, very, very good. The Panzer apparently was still alive and he was firing at me and I didn't realize it. So it's still one of the greatest threats to your aircraft. It's the Panzer, of course. 
It's just a, an annoying AA system sometimes. But it's not unbeatable. You can beat it. I just don't know what happened there. Uh, here it's an example of like what is going on in this game sometimes. So I was trying to look. This is the last example uh, that GBUs can be a little bit more usable, I think. But if, I, if it was probably... Uh, if it was a PGM, I probably would have just gotten the kill. I don't know. You will see. So I dropped the bomb, but a punt here that it, I think it's a punt here that is just there trying to, you know, do something with me. And I had to just wait, right? I don't think he knew that I was there or anything like that. That's the beauty of the GBU. You just can maintain your flight, very high altitude, being safe from AA systems. The PGM, you can do that as well, but I just think it's a lot easier for targets to, I don't know, m make the missile miss. And as you see, he was trying to shoot my missile down, which was quite funny when this happened. A hit. What was that? I don't know if the actual, like, guns hit it, the, the, the missile or anything, the bomb. I don't know what happened there, but it was just a hit. And I was so mad about this. I mean, come on. It was the perfect GBU shot, right? But anyway, this is it, guys. To show that both the PGMs and the GBUs are very, very much usable. And I think the mix loadout between the two of them are still just a little bit more effective. Um, having the two GBUs at the end of the, you know, the loadout to actually destroy tanks. And then the PGMs to destroy AA systems. I think it would be more fair to say that. And yeah, guys, basically this is it. Let me know in the comments what you think about the PGMs and the GBUs and the Tornado. And if you like to see more videos like this, doing casts and stuff, subscribe and let me know in the comments. Bye, guys. See ya. Subscribe. Cl click the like button.